Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Wolf Blood Series 4, Episode 3. So last week we had the first two episodes of the series slash uh, season, uh, and now continuing with the series, we're going to have uh, one episode on Tuesday and one episode on Wednesdays. Um, so that's how I'll be reviewing the show. I'll review the Tuesday episode on Tuesday and the Wednesday episode on Wednesday. Uh, but let's, let's get started and, and start talking about this episode. So for this episode, it's um, a lot to do with Segolia um, and, and more of the sibling story. Because Segolia, or at least the, the head of Segolia, TJ's mother, doesn't really know what to do with the siblings. Wants them to stay away from the city life and, and from their foster parents. So, uh, you know, Diana fighting for them, fighting for her pack that she's created. And, and trying to convince TJ's mother to work with her and, and try to make the siblings still stay um, in high school and and also just staying in in the city world uh, and by the end you know they do have a chance to do that actually it's TJ that really helps the situation of trying to let his mother know uh, that they have to work together to to figure out the situation uh, and then I guess a small side story of the episode is how Katrina and Yana are living together now and it, it's not really resolved in this episode but we have Katrina getting a little upset with Yana because Yana's bringing all these people to her house House and not really doing her job. At first, you know, she's covering for her, but I, you could definitely tell the tension in this episode that will hopefully be discovered and explored more in the next episode. Uh, so what I, what did I enjoy about this episode? Um, I, I think this was a bit of a slower episode from the, the, the past two, uh, but I definitely like the comedy still of, of the episode, even though there's a lot of serious plot stuff going on uh, and a lot of seriousness in general. Uh, we do have Katrina, who plays a great comedic role relief in the episode, uh, and I do like her storyline of, you know, being kind of angry at Yana, but not showing it. Um, I thought a really great scene was her trying to call 999 and, and asking them, is this 999, and then tells the police, hey, I'll call you back if we need you. <laughs> so I thought that interaction was pretty fun. Uh, so once again, I really enjoyed Katrina in this episode, and um, I kind of wish this episode was used to explore um, their relationship as roommates a bit more, because that was the cliffhanger of episode two. Uh, and I think this to slow down the plot a bit, that would have been a really good thing to do. And I guess that's my complaint of this episode, is that I think they moved the plot too quickly in a, in a weird way. They focus on the Segolia plot with the siblings and I don't feel like I know the siblings well enough to care about that plot just yet. So I think this episode could have been used to care about the siblings a bit more. You do get um, an interesting scene talking about the girl's burn, which I really, you know, I enjoyed that scene um, to really give her confidence um, and show that uh, that she could be a great wolf blood, and I'm excited about that. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want to know these two characters a bit more. Maybe high school scenes would help that a lot. Um, of course, that helped in in the original three uh, seasons of Wolf Blood, and really helped with Yana's character. Um, seeing her in, in season two, where she interacted with uh, with humans. I I think that would really help. So yes, I need some more development with the siblings. Even though I thought the plot progression was interesting, just to care about the characters a bit more, that, that's something I, I wish I that would have been done in this episode, but might be done in future episodes. Uh, so overall, um, I think this episode was really well done for, again, comedic relief with Ka with Katrina. Hopefully we'll get to see more of her. And also TJ was a really interesting character here. I think out of all the new characters, he's the one that I so far care about the most because he's gotten the most spotlight, and he's also connected to Segolia and, and his relationship with his mother. And I, I like the scene with him and his mother when the mother uh, bit him. Um, I will say some of the sound um, there was a lot of heavy breathing, so it, it was kind of hard to hear at the first time, but I, I did like that scene a lot, and I think the emotion really showed in that scene and made me care about TJ um, more as a character. And, and again, that's the character I'm tending to connect to more as a new uh, character, and hopefully I can feel the same way with the siblings uh, in the next couple of episodes. Uh, so yeah, overall, um, hopefully learn more about, the, uh, about those sibling characters, but uh, interesting plot progressions for for TJ uh, as a new character. Now, of course, Yana just playing more of pack leader and taking that role again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Of course, I'll have a Wolf Blood review tomorrow, and this is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, 
Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later.